we all like to believe that we are the masters of our own destiny and uh, uh, with free will and that with education and now the internet, that this is even more so. This is what we like to believe. But uh, you paint a very different picture and uh, uh, in fact the picture you paint challenges the whole notion of free will as commonly understood. Yeah. So let me quote you. Mm -hmm. uh, Professor Harari, you write that if free will is freedom to do what you desire, you humans have free will. But if free will means the freedom to choose what you desire, then we don't have free will. Please Ila, explain. Uh, yes, I mean, <laughs> it's, when people hear we have no free will, they say, but I feel that I'm yes. doing what I want. Yes. And yes, this, obviously this is true. And this is true of humans, this is true of chimpanzees, this is true of elephants, this is true of rat, rats. Rat, a rat wants to run something somewhere, she or he feels, yes, I want to run there, I run there. If this is what is meant by free will, there is no, no, no argument. But the idea that I can choose my own desires, I, can like I have freedom over my will, I can tell myself, now you want this. No, 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 now you want that. It doesn't work. From our own experience, we know that uh, uh, what we like to eat, uh, the people we like, uh, sexual attraction, we have no control over it, or very, very little control over it. My main issue is with the, the, the idea of free will. It makes people uncurious about themselves. Like, one of the biggest questions in life is what is the source of my desires? What is the source of my decisions? Why do I want these things? Why did I make this decision? Now, if you believe in free will, it makes you lose curiosity. Why did I chose this? Because this is my free will. End of story. There is nothing to investigate. If you don't believe in free will, or, or you are willing to kind of withhold judgment, I don't know. Let's investigate what really caused me to desire this particular thing. Then you start investigating. And when you start investigating, you realize that there are so many things that manipulate my desires. Yeah. Other people manipulate my desires. Uh, 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 religious and cultural ideas influence my desires. Um, things that happen within my body influence my desires. Like as we study in depth the human body, the human brain, the DNA, we realize so many biological processes that we know nothing about. Like 99% of the processes in your body happen without our understanding and knowledge. As you're now sitting listening to me, so many things happen in your brain, in your body, that you have no, no idea that they are happening. So we know very little about what really shapes our emotions, our feelings, our desires. If you make, and, and, and again, the key to that is to realize, maybe I'm, I don't know why I, why I made this decision. Let's investigate. But let's investigate. If after a long investigation, you find that there is some type of freedom in yourself, then okay. If that is the result of your investigation, then fine. But it should not be taken as a kind of uh, 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 presupposition, I made these decisions because I have free will. That I think that real freedom for humans is not something they have, it's something they have to struggle for. Yes, you make that point in the book. That if you, if you made, if you, you have started to struggle for, for your whole life, and then maybe you have some real freedom. And often real freedom is not the freedom to exercise your will or to choose your will. It's the freedom from your will. That, okay, I want this, it, but it doesn't, this desire doesn't necessarily control my life. And this is something that needs a lot of, of work yes. to, to do. True, true.